Uh, hey, how's it going? Uh, Rohan here, of course. I have a couple of books that just came in that I wanted to unbox uh, for the channel. Um, so this uh, first one, I actually, <laughs> you'll recognize this one because I kind of did something very similar. So a couple of weeks ago, or no, it was a week ago, I had acquired my Submariner 1, and I even talked about, you know, it's not a book I wanted to spend a lot on, um, you know, high grade wasn't too big of a deal for me. I just wanted one that looked nice. Um, and I believe that, right? However, I had an opportunity that come up where I was able to use that book to then trade up with just um, a few other books I had gotten for free and, uh, you know, a couple ones that I had found for, you know, five or so bucks. Um, and with that, I was actually able to upgrade with Mark, who's a guy I've done a lot of trading with. Great guy. I've mentioned it before. And I've got a now a higher grade Submariner one. So this one is super clean, right? The other one you remember had a lot of um, just kind of like dirt and stuff on the cover. This one, you know, obviously if I was to get a grade, I would still get it clean and pressed, but this one is much, much cleaner. So um, glad I was essentially able to acquire this much nicer one for very minimal cost uh, to what I already put down for the uh, original Submariner I got. So that is comic book number one. And then the second one, this is a book also I wanted for a long time. I've um, just been trying to find the right deal and I found it online. He actually had it listed higher. I had a chat with him, showed him some data and he agreed. Um, and it's from Steve from Nexco Comics. Also a super nice guy that I've done a few deals with. So good guy to work with. Uh, but it is silver surfer number three the first appearance of mephisto and what a great cover for the first appearance um so when it comes to silver surfer books um this kind of completes my want to always have in my pc of the silver surfer books there are a lot of great silver surfer books i think kind of the quintessential six i think that i always want to have is obviously the original trilogy so fantastic four 48 49 and 50 uh, and then there's Silver Surfer 1, obviously the first solo series. Silver Surfer 3, first appearance of Mephisto. And then Silver Surfer number 4, which is that epic cover uh, with Thor, my all-time favorite Silver Age cover. Um, with that in mind, though, right, there are a couple other cool ones like Fantastic Four 72, which is the great Jack Kirby cover. Fantastic Four 55, oh, another great Kirby cover with him battling the thing. It's actually very similar to Silver Surfer 4. Um, and then the Tales to Astonish 93 with Hulk, uh, the Maurice Severn cover. And like those three books I've all had. I actually only have a Fantastic Four 72 now back in the collection. Um, but those are three that I would love to have. Um, but, you know, when opportunity comes up to trade for bigger books, I would definitely use those books I have and I would do it again. Uh, and then two other in the more modern run of Silver Surfer is it 34, which is the reappearance of Th uh, Thanos, the resurrection of Thanos, I believe. Um, really great cover with Silver Sur or with Thanos big and then Silver Surfer flying by. Uh, and then 43, which is the first appearance of the uh, Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, with that in mind, though, I do have another couple uh, cool Silver Surfer cards to show and add to the collection. We've got the, these are both uh, 2013 Marvel Filier Retro. Uh, two of the more premium inserts. One is the TI-22 card. I love the art on this one. Um, and it's a PSA 9 with this die cut card. These things are... They, there are 10s out there. They're very hard to come by. Um, and I don't have one, obviously. And, I, and there's actually one on eBay, for instance, for $2,800, I think it is. Um, not something I'm going to spend on that card. Uh, and then again, another PSA 9, but another high uh, high premium insert, which is the Quick Strike. Love this Quick Strike card. I think it's some of the best art you'll find on a lot of the characters that are in this set. Um, yeah, so that is what I've got for you today. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, let us know in the comments if you've picked up anything recently. We'd love to hear about everyone's looking for, hunting, and getting. Have a great day. Bye.